Hi folks, we are just doing a painting today, kind of a painting. Um, we got some antique wax here. We're going to be doing most of this uh, carving with this, and then the beard slash back of the hair. We're going to throw some black paint, but we're going to water it down so it's like more of a wash, I guess. But um, nothing too fancy, just uh quick video on kind of painting went ahead and kind of mixed up a little bit of water and black paint this is just acrylic paint nothing fancy don't know how dark this is gonna come out I kind of put a few lines here and there for the beard texture and then a little bit on the hair side basically it's just kind of like a gnome guy big old hat just a nose, beard, some hair, back of the uh, shirt, kind of some arms tucked in, some shoes on the bottom, pants. So, nothing fancy, just something I just kind of made up and went with. But, I didn't want to do too crazy of a color on this one because I got a lot of other ones that are colored out with a whole bunch of different colors. So, I figured this would be maybe a little bit different to... Do the beard, a blackish color, and then kind of do the antique wash on the rest. Right now I'm just kind of using this really watered down part just to see how dark this side was before I dive too far into this darker one right here because I don't want it too dark, but I don't want it real white either, so I'm just kind of doing a base with it right now just covering the whole hair section most of it uh, pretty much is covered now I'm just going to leap into this darker wash here try not to get get it more on the nose than I already did but you can see it's a lot more opaque and if you can see where I made those uh, carving lines the uh, wash tends to bleed into those areas and kind of give a little bit of shadow effect not all the time but usually it does but also will depend too on the wood grain and how that's see how the cut is up here it's a little bit different so it's kind of giving it a little bit of a darker finish up there than it is down here so if that bugs you might want to do a little blending see if you can kind of <clears throat> match it together but I don't really mind it But you can kind of see it lightens out here and then this the crevices kind of remain a little bit darker. And of course, try not to forget going underneath uh, things when you're painting. Just going to possibly forget about that part. But just make sure you get that lip underneath. What I like about the wash is that when you're doing like underneath right here, it doesn't take much you know kind of seep its way down there so you're not really having to do a whole bunch of work getting it in there but this is uh good for now i kind of like the grayish look it's not completely black or anything but i'm going to throw on that antique wax finish around everything else and kind of see how this looks in contrast to the rest of it so this antique wash is just like a brown color. I've used it quite a few times on different projects. All you do is brush it on and you're supposed to let it sit for so long. I'm not sure what the instruction says if it's overnight or for a couple hours or when it's dry, whatever it was. It's it's longer than I usually do. I generally I'll brush it on 
and then just go ahead and start wiping it off. But it's kind of up to your preference on what you like to do with it. First time watching this uh, channel or a video of mine. This antique wax I picked up at, I think it was Michael's. Um, if you don't have a Michael's near you, it's, it's basically just like a craft store, kind of like a Hobby Lobby or something. Um, it was, I want to say, I think the bottle says, yeah, buck ninety nine. So not that expensive just for a bottle of it. I think they come in bigger sizes too, depending on how much you need. But they uh, also, I think, have different finishes as well. I feel like there might be like a gray finish or something to that effect, but don't quote me on that. I just went and picked this up one day, so cannot really tell you for sure what they all have. But it's basically all you do is you take it and kind of coat everything. So it's pretty easy to work with. Hard part is trying not to get it on your fingers. So I'm just going to use a towel to wrap it with. And of course, take your time doing this. Going kind of at hasty speed here, just trying to get get it painted for you guys to see kind of what I'm doing. And that's pretty much just covering it all. So, yeah, it says, if you can see, let it dry overnight and then buff with clean, soft cloth. So, kind of up to you, but like I said, this part is fairly dry enough to where I would just start rubbing it off. Just like that. And you kind of see it come off right there. But I'm going to let the bottom half dry a little bit longer. And then I'll pick up the video from there and kind of buff it out. Kind of how I normally would. And then um, kind of show you the ending product of that. And I don't know if I'm going to change the beard darker or not. We'll see, but um, let me give us time to dry for a few minutes and we'll pick that back up right where we left off. Alright, so it's dried for about five minutes. Got a brand new paper towel for you guys. It's going to go ahead and rub some of it off. You can see it comes off pretty easy. I like this stuff because generally you can... If you can see here, it'll leave the uh, leave it darker, but then where you got your kind of corners and edges at, it kind of takes that down a bit and lightens it up. So some carvings, it might not look as good if you're not wanting to see those edges, but otherwise, turns out pretty cool, I think. Kind of gives it a different look than just painting everything. Your collection will kind of have a variety to it. I've done uh, what you've probably seen already on the channel. At some point, I think I've got the owl or something that's fully antique waxed and probably some other stuff, but just kind of gives it a different look. So you can see it's pretty, pretty easy to work with, but you can see it. A light and it's gotten like I said if you let it sit overnight um, I'm not sure how hard it is to remove the wax I'm sure it's not too bad either but like I said I'm impatient and this usually comes out really good for my standards so I might try to darken this beard a little bit more probably nothing too crazy just kind of give it a little once over with wash. So I appreciate you guys stopping in and hanging out for the video. Um, nothing too fancy here. It's just a boring painting video. Nothing carving. So sorry for that. Hopefully this video isn't too long. But it's part of the uh, process. And hopefully it gives anyone getting into the 
whittling world some ideas on how they want to attack their carvings after they're done carving some people don't paint them some leave them uh, you know some people just do the antique wax but that's the beauty of it you can do whatever you want and you could try this on one and if you don't like it as much you can carve a new one out and do a different style until you find something you like So there's a few spots I probably got to go over again, just a cover, looks like a piece of the nose area. Might need some of that wax on there, but overall, I think it looks pretty decent. Kind of a different look to it. Yeah, there's some I need to hit with that antique, but overall, I like it. You can always do the bottom if you want as well. I generally leave them blank. And I like to take a sharpie, preferably black sharpie. I don't. That's a thin point. Either way, um, take the sharpie, and I like to basically whatever the month is. We're in February right now. Put the two, and then the year, and then I can look back and you know when did I carve this one, and then. After a couple of years, you look back, you're like, wow, this was like one of my first carvings. And then you look at what you're doing at that time, and you're like, you can see your progress. It's kind of cool. Um, mostly because you start carving a lot, and you just start accumulating them. So kind of dating them. I like to see kind of how my progress was during that year and whatnot. But um, just a little side note there. But again, glad you guys uh, checked out the video. Uh, feel free to check out more videos of course I'll uh, leave some at the end of this video and then you can check out the channel of course uh, subscribe if you have not yet support always is nice to have if you have any uh, comments or anything about what I used here or did or any questions about that feel free to comment that below if you have any suggestions on the videos if you don't like something I do or something I could make better um, it's a pretty simple setup right now so um, some people don't like it some people do so again appreciate all the support and hopefully you guys have a great uh, 2023 and uh, I'll see you on the next video